so let's discuss a topic from quantum mechanics that is uh, derivation of the commutation rule lx comma ly so we are going to see the derivation of this lx comma ly commutation rule so here is the commutation of lx comma ly so in order to find the uh, the formula the commutation rule so first we need to operate this commutator on to the wave function xi so that is the thing we need to do so we are operating on xi and we know that commutation of a b is nothing but a b minus b a a b minus b a so here also same thing in the place of a we are having lx and in the place of y we are having ly so lx ly minus ly lx next into xi now uh, we know we know the famous formula that is ld is equals to r cross p so if we do cross product between r and p by taking r is also xi k plus yj k plus k and p is is nothing but px k plus p y j k plus p z k cap we do cross product between them in that uh, i the component that is uh, lx uh, component would be this and ly component would be this in the same uh, so from there we would get this and uh, now uh, into xi this entire thing operating being operated on xi now what we need to do is in the place of uh, px or pz so in the place of px minus ih cut do by do x we need to substitute do by do x in a similar manner uh, py is equals to minus ih cut do by do y like that we need to substitute so if we substitute uh, what would I here actually if we do so so what would happen is here also from here also we would have minus ih cut common and dou by dou z dou by dou y would be there only and from here also we would have minus ih cut so in total we would have minus ih cut square here so minus ih cut square is nothing but so minus ih cut square is nothing but uh, minus i whole square that is nothing but minus i into minus i minus into minus plus i square into h cut i square is nothing but minus h cut square so we would have minus h cut square so here you can see minus h cut square that's because of this only so minus h cut square multiplied with this here you can see y p z in the place of uh, p z we have, we have taken and as i has got dou by dou z so here you can see the transformation that is because of uh, converting them px py pz into the operator form after uh, substitution we would have this and minus h cut square as we have discussed now uh, so that would be taken uh, common and next uh, what we need to do is now we just need to apply this on the this entire thing onto this uh, wave function xi so now first of all uh, here this term multiplied with this term so this term multiplied with this so y into dou by dou z of this term that is z dou by dou x and this being operated on this wave function xi hence we are having this term from this application so so in the similar manner now next thing is next this uh, do y do by do z would uh, would be multiplied with this so y do by do z and x do x do by do z being operated on this wave function psi so from that we are going to get this next step and here as here minus we are having so minus into plus minus so we would have minus and next thing is in a similar fashion this minus z 
minus z d by d y operates on this. So minus z d by d y into do uh, z do by do x which is getting operated on wave function z. So we would have this term after this. So next in in a similar manner minus z do by do y operating on this. So minus into minus we would have plus. So plus z do by do y into x do by do z x do by do z into this z operating on being operated on z so we would get this this term so in the similar fashion if we keep on doing like this uh, we would have this entire thing and here has here minus is there and here also minus is there so minus into minus plus hence we would have plus h cut square over here and next thing is uh, uh, now we need to solve this so here if we see we need to apply uv formula so here u is nothing but z and v is nothing but d do y do z by do x so for this term if we solve what we will get is y as usual y so y uh, keeping do z by do x aside do z by do z is nothing but one so we would have this term next uh, y would be as usual and uh, y would be as usual and now z we need to keep z aside and we need to differentiate do z by do x so keeping z aside and uh, differentiating do by do z into do z by do x so we would have this term so in the similar fashion again uh, in this term if we consider here minus y is there so minus y minus y next we need to split up here u is nothing but x and v is nothing but dou z by dou z so keeping x aside dou by dou z into dou by dou z of z we would get this term uh, dou square by dou z square into z and next uh, dou, keeping dou by dou, dou z by dou z aside we differentiate do we will get do x by do z so like this uh, we need to do and in the similar manner again here here minus z multiplied with this here u is z here v is do z by do x in the similar fashion and in the next uh, and we need to apply uv formula then we would get this term and next also u e this is u and this is v x is u dou z by dou z is v and in the similar fashion here y is u and dou z by dou z is v and here uh, z is u and dou z by dou y is v and here this is u and this is v finally this is u and this is v so we need to apply that vdu differentiation of uv formula vdu plus udv and if we do solvation we will get the following things and now now if you see so this is the final things we are getting now here uh, we need to cancel the terms uh, here we are having zy here also zy and here do z do by do z into do by do x into z here, but here do by do x do by do z into z so from the partial derivatives uh, we know that do by do x into do by do y e operating on wave function is nothing but equal to do by do y even if we interchange do by do x operating on a function whether uh, uh, first of all, y is uh, uh, partial differentiating u and then x or else whether first x is differentiating u and then y so where whatever it may be uh, they both are equal they are both are said to be equal so hence uh, we would have um, this this both are same this term and this term they are they both are same and uh, if we see here we are having minus h cut square but here plus h cut square so minus plus this both would get cancelled out cancelled out and next uh, next term is here we are having minus y x here also minus x y dou square z by dou z square here also dou square z by dou z square but here 
we need to keep an eye here it is plus h cut square here it is minus h cut square so these both terms they also would get cancelled and next thing what we need to see is uh, xz so here zx here also xz do by do z do by do y here do by do y do by do z so these both would get cancelled out and next thing is uh, we need to see is another things so that is my minus z square here also minus z square do by do x do by do y here also do by do x do by do y so this term and this term would get cancelled out and finally uh, if we see uh, do x by do z is zero do if it were do z by do z it would have become one so this term would become zero and here also do z by do y so that also would become zero and here do x by do y that also would become zero and in this do y by do x that one would become zero do z by do x this term also would become zero and here do y by do z so this term also would become zero and what would remain is only this so here only two terms that would remain after is this y do y by do x and x do z by do y do z by do z is however one so here we are having minus h cut square here plus h cut square so if we see here so from the first term minus h cut square y do y by do x y do y by do x and next x do z by do y x do z by do y into h cut square now in this we need to take minus h cut square has common so if we take here plus would come and here plus h cut square is there so minus would come and next is uh, we can write this minus h cut square has so here we are having minus h cut square which could be written as um, h cut uh, my i minus could be written as uh, i square i square h cut square or else we can write the same as minus i h cut whole square so we would have minus i h cut into minus i h cut so one of the minus i h cut is taken inside and uh, another one would remain outside now if we do we are doing so so that uh, we could get uh, operator form because you know that px is nothing but minus i h cut dou by dou x so this one would become minus i h cut dou by dou x so this is nothing but px and next uh, minus i h cut dou by dou y that is nothing but py so this would become py so overall we would have this and here has minus is there we are taking it inside once again so if we take it inside so minus into minus plus so this one would become plus and then this is minus so next i h cut x p y minus y p x and this is nothing but l z uh, z is there x y would come so we should go in a cyclic order so x to y y to z and z to x so if we go in such a manner so we used to go in such a manner hence l z is nothing but x p y minus y p z so overall we are having lx into ly is also i h cut lz so this is the thing we are getting and now another important thing is here we are getting i h cut lz so lz has the dimensions of angular momentum even h cut has the dimensions of angular momentum so we know that mvr is equals to nh by 2 pi that is nh cut so it has got the dimensions of angular momentum so uh, lx into ly has uh, h cut square dimensions of uh, angular momentum squared so this so this here this i h this h cut would be suffice to this l x so h cut has dimensions of uh, angular momentum and l x also has the dimensions of angular momentum next uh, l y 
L y would have the dimensions of angular momentum and L z would have the dimensions of angular momentum. Hence, the formula is I h cut L z. So, in the similar fashion, uh, that's why we would have for commutation between x p x has I h cut only h cut we would have. That is because of m v r m v into this has the dimensions of m v r angular momentum. This also has the dimensions of m v r. In the similar fashion, if we see combinations with uh, l x comma y like that so there also you would have the same i h so i h cut uh, z like that so that is based on uh, that is uh, l x y like that uh, l x is nothing but uh, y p z minus z p y so like that we would have and if we do uh, solve it so we would have i h cut z x y is the order so i h cut z so h has the dimensions of angular momentum y has the dimensions of length so like that only here we would have this so here also l x h cut l y l z so here based on dimensions we would have that and finally Now in the similar fashion, L Y L Z commutation is nothing but I H cut L Z L X, and L Z L X commutation is nothing but I H cut L Y. So Z and X is there, Y is missing, so it is following cyclic order. So all of them would be plus. That only if we have L X comma L Z that would be minus I H cut L Y, and L Z comma L Y is nothing but minus I H cut L X. So like that. So this is the derivation. So thank you.